I could use a jog. Mm. We're not jogging. We're not going to jog. I don't run unless there's cake. I don't run unless someone's chasing me like zombies. Hey Buttes, Fanny Ann here and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Now, where we left off was Lee had just gone into the office of his old pharmacy. Sorry it was a little bit of a cliffhanger, but um, time ran out. So we're going to get back to Lee going to the office and I need to find some batteries for the radio. So let's get back to it. She's literally the cutest thing ever. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Oh god. I'm so sorry. She's in here too. Clem, what are you doing in here? <sighs> Sad. This door leads to the back alley. They've really tried to barricade themselves in. First aid kit. Let's see if there's anything in here. Please watch the blood. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Yeah, but matey with a heart condition needs some shit, do not he? Is there anything else? There's a photo over there. I mean, down there. Oh, that must be his brother. No, no, oh, I thought he was ripping it in half. Find anything? Ooh, where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> Jesus. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Shit. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who that's I am? Shit, man. If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. Okay. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this drama. little girl to take care of, and... There is drama. Look, don't make me wrong on this. Calm down. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. Calm down. I'll just keep it to myself. Thank you. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I mean... He might have done it out of a fit of rage. I still likely. I hope he didn't do it kill someone but there's that thing isn't there where um what's it called uh where you kill someone i think it's that crime of passion where you kill someone out of like pure like through love and stuff or like hurt someone because you've been heartbroken apparently you can like get a less said i don't know i don't know if that's true but it's just what i've heard let's carry on Ooh, what is that what is that stick I feel like Morgan in The Walking Dead is like bashing people's heads in with sticks. That's a walking stick. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. I do like it. My dad gave it to me. See, Dad's just smart like that. Cute. She's adorable. What's I ought there? to clear a path to opening that door. Yeah, I suppose you better. We ought to clear this door for okay. when we find the keys. Let me talk to Clementine first. Oh, I'll just How you doing? Out. Okay. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. Mm -hmm. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But I you stopped it. I did. Yeah, I Thanks. did. Can you do that more? Always. Well, I'm not going to go looking for her. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm going to try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Okay. 
I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. I need to find batteries. I don't think there's any in here, though. Could really be wrong. I can't seem to do much else apart from possibly move this. Better get this door clear, huh? Mm -hmm. Can I help? <laughs> sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. I'm gonna do all of it. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. So I Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, in. I don't think. People lose their I shit. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Bless. <clears throat> you can do it, <clears throat> She's trying so hard. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. Mm. You didn't answer my question. Yeah, trying right, to avoid it. Further. Trying to avoid the question. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. Just ask so many questions. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Oh no. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Yes. Go to the first aid kit. Doop, doop, doop. Actually, there's stuff in here first. It could be batteries. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's not what I want. Oh, batteries. Uh, uh. I'm an idiot. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. So, Lee? Uh, yes. Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll uh, track us down. I'm not gonna give Don't a worry. Force, like, say yeah. something horrible. Okay. Th they're not gonna come we back. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Good girl. Uh, let's get um, bandage out of here. Little tiny plasters. <laughs> That's what I figured. Okay, so TV, that, that. And let's just bandage her up. Slide around the boxes. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's clean it. Dip it in some vodka. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. That was quick. You should be a doctor, like your brother. Sorry. That's that's today. Let's go back in. It's locked. Oh, we need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Track them down. Okay. Well, I don't know if they're in here. Uh, but what if they are? I can't bother to go look all the way around the pharmacy again for something that might be in this room. Alright. Alright. They're not. That's that. Uh, that's that. Uh, uh, maybe they are outside. 
Is Clem gonna come with me or just sit there? Go to the door, please. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Go on him. Let's go. Lee? Mm. Yeah. You're not bad, right? I just said that. Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Mm. It's complicated. I don't want to lie to her, but happen, I also don't want to tell her that I killed someone. You do things someone. and you can't explain them. It's difficult. Difficult situation. Let's uh, head back to the others. I don't know how old she is. I'm guessing like six or seven. Could be wrong though. Right, well, I just need to look for keys. Oh, and I've got batteries for. So I can't even remember her name. Oh, let's give that good energy bar. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. No problemo. I'm a nice person. I didn't kill anyone. I don't know what you're talking about. It was all in your head. It was just a dream. Another energy bar. Can hey I eat this one? Oh. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Sure. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? Oh. This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your that. family here. <laughs> I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Thanks. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Appreciate it. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Mm. We're not jogging. We're not going to jog. I don't run unless there's cake. I don't run unless someone's chasing me like zombies. Battery, but I've just I've got batteries from the control. Confused. And they should do what he did. Glenn should just do what they do in The Walking Dead, where they just rub guts all over themselves and then. Um, they don't say, smell them because they smell like them. You know what I mean. You, you, you catch what I'm laying down. I have batteries for you, girl. This battery should fit the radio. So why did I pick up the TV remote? Great, thanks. No problem. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Yeah, because, you know. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Don't be such Go a ahead. idiot. Kimfy, get rid of the video. It's so stupid. Mm, nothing. Right, let me look. At, let me look. Maybe she's put the batteries in the wrong way because clearly she's a fucking idiot. <laughs> Seriously, so stupid. <laughs> Seriously, so stupid. <laughs> Please tell me that if that works, she's so stupid. As the unknown force it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to yeah, skyrocket. Yeah, WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones... God bless you all. Shit, that did not sound like a good transmission. Okay, we need to... What is this I'm talking to? Oh, it's her. Is that her? Yeah. Hey, Carly. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm fine. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Nah. Even maybe not. Probably not. Okay, I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go look outside, How and then come doing? back and then head out. Good. Glenn. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah. Nice polar bear jumper. It's my favorite. 
Let's have a look around. Okay. Uh, okay. I like Doug. I feel like he's gonna die though. He's not very important. Jesus. <laughs> Well, I think I'm gonna be Doug, pull yourself together. Just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Mm, yeah. If. I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. If anything gets sorted out. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh, that's not good. That place is full of TVs and electronics. I know, and it's the TV remote. And, it, and then distraction yeah, so we can get out. There's a fortification job over there. I'm a genius. Yeah. Didn't work. <laughs> no shit. It's a combination lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. What is putting the controls on that gonna do? I'm curious. Did I seriously just Oh, hey why man, would what I? What are you do? doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Why would I do that? Mm. It doesn't seem to be working on this thing that doesn't have any need for it. Ridiculous. Oh, why is that even a thing? Look at the one trapped over there. Oh no. Better him oh. than us. Huh? Oh no. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? Mm hmm I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. It could be anybody, you know? And they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doug. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there. Do I have to go out there and, right and the see my dead brother and get keys off him? If we could somehow prove that he worked okay. here, I think it'd be worth it. Mm. I'll see what I can find. Oh, but I have a picture. I'll just give it to him. I'm gonna use the controls on him. Doug. Think you can do anything with this? know what I could do. What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. Nerd! You can just do that? He's a nerd. Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. No, no, right now. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Listen, that's Who's not okay to say that. Hasn't. Nice tongue, mate. That got a few of them to take notice. <clears throat> nah, no, they don't give a shit, but mate. Not enough. These ones are walking in unison. That was good. Okay, I need to prove that to you. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I saw it. I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. Hmm. Complicated. Wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Mm. Well. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Mm. 
Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Turn up the volume. Well, I don't know. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Uh, okay. So we've got to shoot the glass. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure <laughs> they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. I can't reach that brick. Why can't you? I can't reach that brick. Oh fuck, so the walking stick. Let's head back inside. Okay. The walking stick. This is, t this is a puzzle. This is a puzzle and a half. So hard to figure out. Okay, the walking stick. Let's go get it. Can I seriously not pick it up? That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Can I seriously not pick it up? Then I don't fucking know. Why can't I pick up? Oh my god, this is going to take me forever to figure out. Not right now, Clem. Okay, then I generally do not know. This is like a broom or something. Millering about. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. I'm gonna, I love the little hints it gave me because I would have been looking for a walker stick, but it says talk to Carly, so I'm going to talk to Carly. Hey there. I better what? get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. I'm back again, girl. I think we should see if she wants to head out. Is that what we should do? You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Well. <laughs> for fuck's sake, fight. We'll come back to it. <laughs> Shit. Get down. <sighs> We're going to have to end that episode there. I'm sorry. Um. I'm sorry I couldn't figure out the first puzzle. I thought talking to Carly would, and making her head out would be like, oh, we can't head out. We need something to smash the window. I need something to reach the brick, but it didn't. We went out the back way. Anyway, in the next episode, we'll do the Carly getting Glenn thing, and then we'll figure out how to get the keys to the pharmacy. Um, I'm sure I'll figure it out. I just need some sort I don't know why I couldn't grab the cane. I'm a bit confused why I couldn't grab that, because I thought that was what I'd needed to reach the brick, unless I can. I don't know. Anyway, we've run out of time. Um, but yeah, sorry about that. Anyway... Anyway, 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 apparently, anyway. <laughs> um, thank you so much for coming and seeing me today. I really appreciate it. Remember to push all those lovely little buttons at the bottom. Remember to follow your dreams no matter how small they are. And I'll see all of you beautiful people in the next one. Bye, 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 bye.